Hey, Code Monkey. The other day I saw your video about creating interesting dungeon ideas. Can you give me an example of how that would work? Well, of course, Cletus. I'd be happy to help. Let me give you an example. In that video, which we'll have a card to up there at the top of the screen for you to click on if you haven't seen that video yet, but the first step is to determine who built it in the first place. You could have any range of creatures or humanoids or anything that would normally build something could have built this dungeon in the first place. Uh, anything from orcs to wizards, elves, kobolds, giants. For our example, let's look at a dungeon that was built by giants. The next thing to wonder is who's there now? Long ago, this dungeon was built by giants, but for some reason, the giants have left the area. So who's in the dungeon now? For our example, it could again be any of the things we've listed or anything else. We're going to say it's kobolds. So there's now these kobolds in a structure that was built by giants. You can imagine how this would make the dungeon interesting and unique from most dungeons that you see. With giants, everything is to a large scale. As with kobolds, everything is so much smaller. So maybe there's a room that used to be a small bedroom for a giant, but it actually houses a dozen kobold sleeping quarters. Perhaps the 10 foot wide walls have tiny passageways through them that the kobolds can pass through easily, but any of the player characters would have trouble traversing. Next, we look at the purpose. In step three, we discover that the kobolds are actually preparing this to be the den of a dragon. They don't have a dragon master yet, but they would like to attract the attention of a dragon. So they're preparing a lair for a dragon. Next, we get the size. For this dungeon, I'm going to say that the size is a small size. Maybe something with just four or five rooms at the moment. This allows the dungeon to be fairly easily finished by your party in a single session. And finally, the theme. We're going to say that this dungeon is sunken in a swamp. So there's lots of mud and marsh water in the dungeon itself. This is why the giants left in the first place. And that's how simple it is to use the five steps in the previous video to get an interesting idea for a dungeon that will be unique and keep your player's attention. Now we're going to take a look at what you could do if you've got writer's block. I use ChatGPT all the time to help give me ideas on what to do. While Nothing I get from ChatGPT is perfect. It gives me a lot of ideas and starting points with which to work from. So in this example, I've put in a description to ChatGPT, simply saying I've created a five-step process to create an interesting new idea for a dungeon in Dungeons & Dragons. Step one, who originally built the dungeon. Step two, who lives in the dungeon now. Step three, what is the purpose of the dungeon? Step four, how big is the dungeon? And step five, what is the theme of the dungeon? With those steps in mind, I would like you to come up with an interesting idea for a dungeon. So now let's take a look at what ChatGPT came up with. For step one, who originally built the dungeon, the dungeon was built by an ancient alliance of wizards and dwarven architects who sought to create a sanctuary for magical artifacts that were too powerful to be left open. For who lives in the dungeon now, the dungeon is now inhabited by a society of sentient constructs and animated guardians created by the wizards to protect the artifacts. These constructs have developed their own hierarchy and culture over the centuries. Step three, what is the purpose of the dungeon? The primary purpose of the dungeon is to safeguard a legendary magical artifact known as the Chronomancer's Hourglass, which has the power to manipulate time. The wizards intend to keep it hidden to prevent misuse. Step four, how big is the dungeon? The dungeon is vast and spans multiple underground levels. Each level presents different challenges, ranging from enchanted traps to puzzles that test the wit of those who attempt to breach its depths. And finally, step five, what is the theme of the dungeon? The theme of the dungeon is a blend of ancient magic and advanced arcane technology. The architecture combines traditional dwarven craftsmanship with intricate magical glyphs and the constructs within showcase a fusion of magic and machinery. It then goes on to state, as adventurers delve into the dungeon, they not only face physical challenges, but also navigate the complex history and politics 
of the sentient constructs. The quest to reach the heart of the dungeon and secure or perhaps destroy the Chronomancer's hourglass promises an adventure filled with mystery, danger, and the potential to alter the course of time itself. Now you can see how both of these examples would be very interesting for the players and unique. It's not your typical cult in a cave or bandit camp. By using these five steps, it allows you to create interesting adventures that will be memorable for your party members. If you found this interesting, please like and subscribe and check back often for more videos. In the meantime, keep on hacking the dungeon.